Thank you everybody so much for the advice. I really, really appreciate it. And instead of putting comments underneath each of your things that you wrote, I figured I'd just make this Friday's video just as a response to you guys on your advice. This is week two of Lila pretty much screaming every moment she's awake. Parents of YouTube, I need help, please. So as I go through the different things that um, you guys gave me advice on, I'm gonna put your names right here. The first thing that someone suggested was walks, and that's something that we do during the day, but unfortunately we don't live in the best neighborhood in the world. It's not like really bad, but it's not a place I want to walk at night. So, fortunately, walks at night aren't going to work, but during the day, definitely. Okay, the next piece of advice was white noise kind of stuff. Vacuum cleaner going shh in the baby's ear, um, running water, things like that. And we, I do do the shh thing, but you can only go shh so long before you start running out of breath. <sighs> I had not tried the running water or the vacuum thing. Um, we did vacuum uh, yesterday and she did quiet down while we were in the vacuum, but I read somewhere that someone let their vacuum run and they burned up their vacuum. WPGP not offered to watch the baby while we slept, but unfortunately she lives in Canada. If I ever move to Canada or if you ever move down to Maryland, then I will take you up on that, my dear. Mwah. Love you, Mandy. Music, play music for the baby. We did start doing that. Um, I don't know if it helps her feel better but um, my pediatrician said that it's good for her noggin, for her brain, so we have been playing a lot of music for her lately. She seems to really enjoy Phil Collins, randomly. In the swing, we have a swing, um, and she doesn't seem to really care about the swing. She, I guess she likes being in it, I don't know, which bums me out because I've heard wonderful things, that the swings are magical and blah blah blah, and I was excited to put her in it, but she doesn't seem to care. Going for car rides. I, See, there's somebody that said, um, let me see. Oh, Ask Miss Chris said, you know, be careful with the walks and the car rides because then that's all that they're going to be able to do and it's a pain in the butt to get them in the car and everything. So I think I'm going to kind of go with that with the car ride thing. Um, a couple people are asking if she's colicky. Um, definition of colic is that they cry unexplainably. So is she colicky? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I do really, really like doing the baby massage stuff. I need to do it more. I, I really need to do it more and I got to keep that in my mind. So thank you guys for that. Somebody said you just gotta let them cry sometime and actually my pediatrician told me the same thing. Gotta make sure that she's fed and changed and everything and then letting her cry. We've been doing that a little bit and sometimes she can soothe herself but sometimes she can't. I asked my pediatrician about gripe water and she said that she's Indian and she said in India the gripe water has alcohol in it so she said no to the gripe water and I haven't looked to see if the American gripe water has alcohol in it but I am going to recheck that out just to check it. I did try cutting out dairy. Um, it was really really hard to cut out dairy because I'm a chocolate addict and I love cheese and milk and all that stuff so I did that for like three days and I don't know if it made a difference or not, but I'm gonna hold off on that one too because it's really hard. Cutting out acidy foods and coffee. I don't know. I, I, I don't eat a lot of acidy foods, but the decaf coffee I do drink one a day if that. The days that I don't drink coffee, it doesn't seem to make a difference, so. Um, asking friends for help. I haven't been doing that as much as I should. You're right. I should do that. Baby wearing. Baby wearing is something that I do do sometimes. Um, well, it means putting her in like a sling or a wrap and, and uh, walking her around with me. I've tried that some and it does help. Taking the baby to a chiropractor, uh, I'm scared of that. Her little bones, I'm scared. But that's something definitely I appreciate that because I'd never even thought about taking her to a chiropractor. So thank you for that. I'll have to keep that in my mind too. I'm giving her a warm bath. Um, it's kind of a process to give her a bath and I love giving her a bath, but I don't know if I want to depend on that kind of like with the car rides thing. She does, she loves taking baths. She seems to really, really enjoy it. So um, I'll definitely keep that in mind when she's really screaming and stuff. Earplugs, ha ha, Pan Piper, ha ha ha. Pan Piper is one of my longest, longest, oldest subscribers, so. Hi, earplugs. The book, The Happiest Baby on the Block and the Five S's, which was like swaddle, swing, shh, something. There's five S's. Um, I am going to look for that book, I'm going to buy it. Because I've heard that book is awesome. Rice cereal in the bottle. I don't know if she's too young for that. She might be too 
too newborn for that. I've heard of that for like older babies that are like three and four months, but I don't know if that's appropriate for her age. Putting her on top of the dryer. The thing is, is our, we have one of the stackable dryers. I can't put her on the dryer because the dryer is on the top. So I have to put her like way up high. So unfortunately that's not gonna work for the setup of the dryer that I have. But that is a good idea. Jack Daniels with water in the bottle. No, I'm not going to put Jack Daniels in her bottle. Thank you very much. I know you're just kidding, but no. Somebody said something about a pacifier and dependency on the pacifier. I I, tr I really believed that, um, and I did not want to give her a pacifier at all. But the pacifier is so magical, I don't think that I cannot give her the pacifier. <laughs> it's got too much magic in it. It's like fairy dust. <laughs> I can't, I can't not give it to her now. But my three guys had a good point with the SIDS thing that put the pacifier in the mouth for the bedtime. But during the day, I really should give it to her less. But the one thing that actually did work this week, and that was gas medicine. I um, gave her Monica drops in her, uh, in her bottle, and that seems to be really, really working. And as you can hear, she's sleeping peacefully, and um, I can tell it's working because when she, uh, when after I give her the Mylican drops a little while later, you just hear this big, <laughs> and this big old poop, and this big old fart, and it's awesome. So I know that she, she's feeling better. So thank you guys so much for the advice. I really appreciate it, and I love you guys, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'm sure I'll have more questions for you soon. Mad love. Have a good week. Bye.